Hello and welcome back to the Deep Sea Deposit in Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, oh, ha, huh. that's odd. Hmm, so I did have a couple of things to mention. One of those things was that I just put Encounter Times None on, uh, which makes this a little bit odd. The other one being that I used a tent, uh, because, uh, well, we're going to be wanting to be fully rested, like, pretty soon here. But, uh, does, does this area just ignore Encounter None? It might. I guess we'll, I guess, I guess we'll see in a moment. Hmm. Uh, yep, I guess it just ignores it. Well, in that case, we may as well just turn it off. Because it's not doing us any good. Okay! Okay, down we go, with a full encounter rate. Against freaking Triface. Man, you're not a hard fight, Triface, you're just sort of annoying. I mean, I'm glad I got pain from you, but... Hopefully it just... Honestly, I don't think I would even mind killing you. I could probably use the experience. Actually, no, I could. I do still need to make sure that I am guaranteed a It doesn't matter for what's coming up. Like, for the coming up at the end of this area. But it... Like, for the... I am still going to want to be- oh hey. I just got a thing. Uh, it was on you, right? Yeah, it was. What was it saying though? Something, something... Right. I am- there is still a point in the game where I want to guarantee that my payoff is at... 30. But we aren't there yet. We are not yet there. It's an M! Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, nip that one in the butt, I think. Hmm. Mug seems to have been disabled. Not the best. But not the worst. Well, we got the M. I increased health speed, didn't I? With the Zircon, he has got to be like, whoa, that is fast type speed. Okay, well, anyway. Man, I really wish I, I had Encounter Time Spawn. It's kind of annoying. I guess I could run away, but... Do you mind? Like, seriously? I'm trying to steal from you. So if pain is the triple threat for the L for the status effects, then meltdown must indeed be the uh slow down. Oh no, while well, you've killed it. 
Meltdown must indeed be the Vitality Nun one. Which is odd, because I could have sworn you could turn- you could, like, equip that to your attack, but I guess not. I guess not. Oh well. Not a big deal. Oh hey, I got another potion, and also some other stuff. Was that carbuncle magic? I mean, I know well that this is not gonna do Squall no good, but... Ah, let's just leave it where it is. Uh, initiative or move? Initiative, I think. Okay, I see. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pull it with the encounters already! Okay, I think I am supposed to climb down the thingy, but, uh... Hmm... I see- okay, well I forgot a- I forgot a critical hit there with Squall. Oh well, we still turned it into a card. Ultima Weapon card? Ha! Huh, that must be a rare card. I mean, relatively speaking. Okay, no, there we are. There we are. Oh, hey, it's a drop point. Oh, hey, you're new. Also, scary. Regen and Tor- mm. You have some- you have 24 Tornado. And I forgot to draw it. Well, I've poisoned it and silenced it and darknessed it, so, you know, I'm probably fine. You do not have Tornado. You know, you probably don't need Tornado, for being honest. I... One stack of Tornado? Yeah, that's... I, I think that's okay. That is probably more than enough. And in the meantime, I can let my massive speed heal me a little bit. Of course, you could just easily say that I don't know my own good, since I was not long ago complaining about not having enough space for spells. And here I am drawing more of them, but, well... Well, I'm still doing it. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that means I killed it. But, no, I guess not. Hmm. I thought for sure Meteor would be a... Like, usually on bomb moves, Meteor is a counterattack, right? But, but sometimes it's a counterattack that you use when you kill them. Well, whatever the case, it's definitely a good thing that I silenced you. Otherwise, that could be dangerous. And you know what? I'm curious what I get for killing one of these, so I'm gonna kill this one. Then, we're, if we run into another one, we'll start trying to turn it into a, a card again. Yeah, flare on the attack just doesn't quite compare to Ultima. Which I guess makes sense. Ultima is the best ju for junctioning in every category, as far as I'm aware. Uh, with the possible exception of status effects, I suppose. Lots of experience. Squall's right where I wanted to be, XP-wise. Renault is still lagging a little bit. And that is triple. I do not need triple. I have plenty.
Another BMF! Okay, well... Oh, okay, I guess I will kill this one as well. Hmm. I wanted to, to check to make sure that I could turn into a card. There is a Behemoth card, so I assume that I can, but... But I wanted to confirm it, but no, I guess, I guess this is fine. Do I have Mighty Guard, actually? I don't have the achievement for every, um, for every quest limit break, so... No, I already have it. Okay. Hmm. I wonder which one I'm missing. I, I definitely have that one. Hmm. Well, whatever. Whatever. What is not whatever is this encounter rate? Damn it, man! This is just way too high! Okay, and Odin shows up again, so I guess I still won't get to see if I can turn it into a card. I have mixed feelings about this, to be honest. Well, it's good for Renoa's level anyway. Uh, I'd rather not get too many more levels in Squall, and I don't really care about Zell. Iremite's level is already too high, like... I just need Renoa's to go up. Well, I got something on Pandemonium, and I got something on Doom Train. Uh... you? Strength is 40, sounds like a plan. Uh, there are so many options here. E that one. Hmm. Well, I mean... We might be able to make something really good with Forbidden Medicine. Uh, oh, Elixirs. Yeah, that's pretty good. Speed up, Elixir. Lots of Elixirs, it looks like. And st setups. So, you know, like, pretty good stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Uh... Okay, okay, we're on a new screen. And another encounter. Maybe I'll try putting ca Okay, that's a Ruby Dragon. Hmm. I do not have Meteor, and I want Meteor. Damn it! <laughs> Meteor is like, it's, it's on the list of good spells. Uh, I did not in seem to inflict darkness or silence on you with that. Unfortunate. I was sort of hoping I would. Uh, but I'm certain that I can replace one of my current junctions with Meteor on all of these characters. I am absolutely positive of it, so it would be wise for me to take this opportunity to draw it. I'm really fast anyway, so I'll get tons of turns before the Ruby Dragon does a damn thing. But man, <laughs> this hurts a little bit. <laughs> As far as I know, so, like, I only need one empty slot when I get to the end, and I'll be fine. And even drawing this, I should still have- okay, that hurt. I should still have two empty slots. So I should be fine. Can I draw a- no. Hmm. Yeah, okay, just keep it up. 
if Zell dies, then I don't really care. I'll just throw a Phoenix down on him. Um... Some potions, I suppose. Or I could use Cura. That is why I have it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think, um... I think I don't actually have a whole lot to say about this. I just really want Meteor. I'm not even sure what it, it's good on. I just know that it's a really... It is in the same class of spells for Junkie as Flare and Full Life. Including Ultima on that list doesn't really... That's not really fair, since Ultima is sort of in a category in in and of itself. But uh none oh, okay. Like Squall is just done. Uh, really, Squall? Really? You be slacking, dude. Also, Meteor incoming. I guess I'll just use that Mega Poison. Okay, now Squall is done. Man, good thing I used a tent, I guess. Nope, that was a miss. Hmm. There we are. Got the Ruby Drain card. HP is 40, GF HP plus 20. Okay. Um... Oh. Hmm. Maybe look at that. Well, I guess I should heal up again. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's actually look at that uh, spell. Hopefully I didn't just waste my time, is sort of what I'm thinking. Uh... Son of a bitch. Wait. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, still technically worth it. <laughs> That was a close one, though. Thirty mm. shells definitely worthwhile. Okay, so I can give up the. I can give up the fifty to thirty for two more. Yeah, that's that's probably worth. Meteor Life Flare Shell. What did, what did you have on? Flare Protect Life. Um, you have Protect instead of Shell. Do you not have Shell? No, I guess not. Hmm, I should make you a Shell. Uh, and we'll do the same thing here. Probably. Unless it's really good for hitting. Oh, actually, it is pretty good for accuracy. Too bad accuracy is worthless. Oh, it's actually good for evasion. I'll take it! I will take it. <laughs> okay. Oh, ow. I just started talking and then the encounter started again. Okay, well, it's a tri-face. This will be fast. 
It'll just be poke, poke, and then it'll be pretty much dead. Or turned into a card. You know, basically the same difference. I said poke, poke, and then you're a card. That is much better. That's what I thought you said. Oh, this encounter rate is so bloody high! <laughs> this is, this is kind of painful. Also, not, that's not so painful. How it likes to play. Actually, that wasn't so bad. I guess it has high magic resistance. Hmm. Could be. Or it might have just gotten a bad draw. That does happen. Especially when you're casting, like... There's sort of rel fairly parallel, I think, when you near the start of the game. But my experience is usually drawing becomes... Magic becomes worse. The drawing magic to cast it usually becomes worse the further you are through the game. Relative to... To drawing for stalking. Like... Hmm... That's Leviathan, right? Yeah, it was. I guess? Maybe not. Wait. I think it must have been. Hmm. Well, whatever. Uh, like, um, the goodness of drawing magic to cast it probably stays about the same. But, throughout the game, actually. But drawing for stalking, just, you get better at it as you go along. This is two Iron Giants. Not one, but two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um... No. No. I need to draw the line somewhere, and the line happens to be with a spell that I can easily manufacture from items. the line has been drawn. Okay, so I must have gone lucky against the first one, because you clearly are doing a much better job of resisting my attempt to turn you into a playing card. Hmm. Fortunately, you are not doing so well on the hitting me front. Gotta love that darkness vulnerability. One would have hoped that by the time FF8 came out, they would have we would have gone past the Oh okay, that's useful. Marginally. <laughs> Uh, what was it saying? Past the point where they tried to make an area artificially difficult by padding it with monsters. This area is not hard. It is tedious. Because these jerks take forever to... F oh, okay. Well, that, that speeds things up immensely. But yeah. High encounter rate. Uh, nothing you can do to skip the encounter rate. And this is pretty much the only area in the whole damn game where that's true. 
I will say. I mean, you skip the encounter rate on the time trial, no problem. But the undersea... Ruins? Screw you! That seems to be... That seems to be where we're coming from here. Or going to, I suppose. Uh, well, I learned a couple of things. I learned a couple of abilities. Uh, you can do move HP up now, and you can do... Expend. Okay, we reached the bottom. Now, it took a, me a lot longer to get down here than I thought it would, so... So we're gonna stop up here, and next time we will actually finish off for real. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!